Today is a very, very, very sad day in the world. And if you've been on the internet, and more specifically on Twitter for the past couple of hours, you know exactly why. I think it goes without saying that I really don't have to get into much detail as to what the fuck's going on. But in which everyone and their grandmothers already heard the fucking news that Lizzie kicked the bucket. <laughs> and already, you know, people are such in shock. I can't believe she's dead. Okay, sure, she's fucking 96 years old. She ain't getting any younger. She was getting, she was a whole lot frailer up until this point. But no, we all gotta be really, really sad that she died, even though she was 96. But I'm not just here to talk about the, uh, the death of the original girl boss, Lizzie. No, 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 no. I want to talk about the shit that's going to come, the shit that's already happening, because boy oh boy, am I fucking enjoying it. You know, on Twitter, you can already see it now, just loads upon loads of people offering their condolences and their sympathies to the royal family. People like the official Twitter account. For the United Kingdom's Domino's branch. Well, they really wanted to remind everyone that they are, you know, in solidarity with the United Kingdom and the royal family. Uh, a local wrestling company over there in the UK, they, you know, couldn't resist showing their solidarity to the royal family. Fucking Shrek world. Some kind of fucking DreamWorks Shrek amusement park type of thing, I guess. They wasted no time offering their condolences. Peppa Pig. Britfong Land's equivalent of fucking Mickey Mouse there. They wasted no time fucking offering their condolences to the royal family. It's not just Breadbone Land that's issuing out their letters of condolences. Everyone else around the world's issuing their condolences. You got the usual suspects, heads of state, other monarchs, presidents, prime ministers, important people, former presidents, former prime ministers. Everyone's just lining on up to bow down before Queen Lizzie's altar. And it's not just heads of state and political figures that are really getting on their hands and knees and rolling around on the floor crying scared hysterically that Lizzie's dead. No, 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 no. Because if you got some social media influencers, it pains me to even say that. I'm surprised that I've thrown up in my mouth already just saying it. But you got social media influencers who, on the one hand, yeah, they're, you know, they're offering their condolences. But at the same time, they want to condemn you. For being a naughty little boy. How dare you make fun of the queen. At the time for passing. How dare you make fun of an old rich white lady. Who's never had to do a goddamn thing in her life. Who wouldn't even remember your name. Even if you wrote it down in big bold letters on a fucking jumbo sticky note. You know how dare you make fun of her dying. I, and again, it's not just the commoners of the UK that are really saying this. It's everyone else. You, you got fucking Keemstar. Fucking Keemstar of all people throwing a temper tantrum, kicking and screaming that people have the audacity to make fun of the Queen's death. But the Burtbongs, you know, they can't let the Yanks and they can't let everyone else have the fun of shaming everyone. For not crying hysterically over the Supreme Leader's death. I saw this one tweet earlier from this fucking UK mom. 
was she was apparently fucking fuming that she was accusing her son of jerking off in the bathroom. Rather than being in front of the telly and crying hysterically that a majesty's dead. Yeah. But. You know, whereas the rest of the world is mourning, other places in the world, well, they're having a grand old fucking time about this. Over in good old Ireland, the moment they heard the news that Lizzie's dead, it was a bit of a soccer game. And they started singing this wonderful song. Lizzie's in the box. Lizzie's in the box. Hi-ho, hi-ho. Lizzie's in the box. Aside from that, they also decided they were going to fire off some fireworks. It's not just Britain's next door neighbor that was getting in on all the festivities. Argentina. So I think we're going to have a little crack too. A uh, little news site. In Argentina, you know, they decided they were going to pop out the champagne. Have ourselves a little toast. Ding dong, ding dong, the stupid bitch is dead. <laughs> A little payback for what happened in the fucking Falklands. Back in the fucking 80s. But I think the funniest thing about all of this is just what the Brits have in store going forward. Because for the next 10 days, the nation is going to be in fucking mourning over the queen dropping dead. And this wasn't just a, a spur of the moment kind of thing. They didn't just come up with this on the fly. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This was planned. Operation London Bridge. The contingency plan to be enacted once the Queen of England finally kicks the bucket. For ten whole fucking days, the entire nation's gonna be in mourning. From the time Lizzie croaks, all the way to when we finally get to put her bitch ass in the fucking ground. <laughs> ten whole fucking days, the whole nation's gonna be in fucking mourning. It's, it's like the fucking European equivalent of North Korea. <laughs> I swear to fucking Christ. And if you're over in the UK and you want to, you know, take a break from morning, you want to have yourself a good giggle, you want to enjoy yourself, well, guess what, sonny boy? You're shit out of luck. Because the BBC, you know, they just decided that, you know what? Nah, there's not really no need to have any comedy specials on. There's no need for the people to see fucking comedy movies and shit. There's really no need for the commoners to see a fucking sports game. Oh, what's that? You want to watch the soccer game? You want to watch a little bit of rugby? You, you want to watch a little bit of Quidditch? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. You're going to mourn this fucking old rich bitch. I could care less about you. Because you're a fucking commoner. So yeah, that's what's going to be in store for the Brits for the next 10 days. It's going to be fucking hilarious. Watching them having the fucking mourn for 10 goddamn days straight. Not being able to watch a sports game. Not being able to watch a fucking comedy show. Or a fucking comedy special. Or a comedy movie or whatever. You're not allowed to have any fun. You're not allowed to do anything that brings a smile to your face. You're just going to spend the next 10 goddamn days of your fucking life mourning an old rich bitch who died. <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. But now with Queen Lizzie's death, what's in store next for the monarchy? Well, King Charles is apparently King Charles, even though he hasn't gone through the whole correlation shindig, but for all intents and purposes, he's the fucking king now. Whoop the yippee ki fucking A. And uh, I really don't care about that. The only thing I care about now is what's going to be happening with uh, Northern Ireland and Scotland there? I mean, you've heard it for years. Northern Ireland really want to be a part 
of regular old Ireland once again. Scotland wants to finally break free of the crown and go their own way. I mean, even our regular people who are just fed up with the monarchy. This thousand-year-old Asian system, they want to become a republic like the U.S. And now that we got King Charles and, and on the throne now, I'm inclined to believe that Northern Ireland is no longer going to be Northern Ireland. Scotland's going to be its own independent nation. And I'm excited for that. I'm excited. And you want to know the best part is? It's all going to be a reality before you know it. This isn't a hypothetical. This isn't wishful thinking. With Lizzie dead... And Charles now on the throne. We're looking at the very possibility that Ireland could finally at long fucking last be united once again. And Scotland could be its very own fucking independent nation. Once again. Hell, who knows? Maybe the fucking Welsh will decide, hey, you know what, fuck this shit, we want to be free too. And they'll fucking break away. <laughs> and it'll just be old little old England. <laughs> oh. Oh so, yeah, I'm excited for the future, and I'm already excited now for what's going on. It's going to be ten fucking days of just the Brit Bombs having the worst goddamn time of their life, and I'm going to sit across the fucking bond and join every single goddamn moment of it. <sighs> Man, these next ten days are going to be a fucking trip. But anyway... This is where I'm going to end this video for right now. I'll catch you guys in the next video. <laughs>